So Donna Mills says, is there anything I can do to speed up the diagnostic process? Anything I can suggest to my doctor who has very little knowledge of MS? Neurology appointments are six to 12 months away. So well, one thing you could do is you could travel to a neurologist. Now I'm not saying that you want to do that, but uh, you could travel uh, to someone that can get you in faster. And so we have patients at the Boston Center that literally travel from any state in the United States. We have people that come from out of the country actually. Um, and we get them in really quickly. And, and so one thing you might consider is if I travel to another city or another state, can I get in to see an MS neurologist faster? That's one thing you could do. If the neurologist that you're working with is not an MS specialist, there might be value in seeing an MS specialist, a fellowship trained neuroimmunologist, because uh, it's all we think about. And we are a little bit more maybe efficient uh, in trying to work up a diagnosis. What else could you do? Well, there are certain tests that are very important when trying to diagnose MS. For example, getting MRIs of the brain, cervical, and thoracic spine are important and necessary in, in the modern era. And so your primary care doctor could order those scans. You might need a lumbar puncture, spinal tap. And so theoretically, you can go and get that done. Um, there are a host of laboratories to look for things that can mimic multiple sclerosis. And so your primary care doctor could order some of those. So there's a host of things that you can do. It's very frustrating trying to get worked up and that can take a while. And so I empathize with you. Thank you for asking that question.